understand that Terminator is out there. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear. And it absolutely will not stop ever until you are dead. As many times as I've said that through the years of this channel, that narcissistic terminator has the ability to suck us all back in, especially on narcissistic egg the giver day. But those of you who have already have been sucked in and they, they take the bait, have found out the same thing you found out every other time that they are machines that they never change that no matter what no matter how much time ever passes they're only fixed on one goal and one goal alone and that is to achieve their supply through you through guilt, through manipulation, through hoovering, through whatever the tactic that that narcissistic terminator uses, they're going to use it and they're going to use it today. You can take days like this as as watershed moments and before you could take them as I'm never going to get any better. And weird weekend for me personally. Um, I actually quit smoking this weekend. I got it out of my system once and for all feel a lot better um i had a wicked migraine on friday came down with a wicked migraine on friday and i've been going basically just going through the detox cold turkey and it's pretty much through my system i've been really irritable so <laughs> i haven't really been up for video making until right now talk to a couple of you um, wanting to set up some stuff for tomorrow, we we're, 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 we're going to do that, and we've done that. Don't take today, if you contacted one of these things, as a fallback. All is not lost, okay, because you can stop and you can recognize immediately, well, that was stupid. These things will never change. You can talk and you can plead and you can hope and you can pray. You can have faith. You can do whatever. It doesn't matter. Because you are not dealing with a human. You are dealing with a machine. You are dealing with something that is only out to get what they want. They can change like a chameleon. They can use different voices. They can hoover other people in but they will never stop. They will never stop until they get that control over you, until either you or they can physically no longer walk or talk or breathe. That's the way it is for us. That's why as tough as it is on days like this that you have to come to the realization that most of us didn't have real mothers, have no concept of what that is. We've seen it from the outside. We get an idea of it from our friends. Luckily, if we're lucky enough to marry somebody or be with somebody who comes from normalcy, but that's rare for us. We usually end up with the same type of dysfunction, 
carrying on the cycle over and over and over again until somebody steps up and says no more, until somebody steps up and says we got to get away and stay away. You can't battle these things head to one on one. You can't. You win by not playing. You win by staying away. And as difficult as it is to stay away, when you falter on days like this, when you hear, oh, you only have one mother, how bad could it have been? We've all heard the excuses. And I'll remind you all the same thing I've been saying. Family is behavioral. It's not blood. Every organism on this planet, non-plant life, fucks and gives birth. Your mother, your birth giver, that doesn't make your birth giver special. That doesn't make your birth giver a mother. All animals give birth. Some turn and eat, eat their young. Some abandon their young. Not much different than what happened to us, is it? But we're the only ones that get guilted into sticking around the same loser egg donor. Why? Because of guilt, because of society, because we have an intelligence or bullshit. Sometimes our intelligence overrides our instinct. Because only an intelligent being is going to have guilt. Do you understand? And that's the problem with intelligence. Is with intelligence comes guilt. You think a fucking dog or cat feels guilty about shit? No. Even a dog, when they chew your couch or chew your... They don't feel bad. They're just upset what you're going to do. They don't have real guilt. They don't think about it after the fact. We do. And that's what's the difference. That's what makes them machines. That's what makes them terminators. No empathy, no remorse, no anything ever. So. I definitely wanted to be here more during the weekend, but I had to get these cigarettes out of my system. I, I just had to, and I was in no real mood. <laughs> irritability wise to be to be making videos or to be taking on any skypes so but now i'm getting getting the messages people wanting to set up hey ollie i i fucked up you didn't fuck up nobody fucked up it is what it is those machines can be very tricky and very manipulative you recognize it right away and you get back the fuck away from it. And one day you won't go back. So, to anybody who faltered this Mother's Day, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Because they will be back. And I will be here. Until next time, everybody. Just remember. But understand. That Terminator is out there. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity. Or remorse. Or fear. And it absolutely will not stop, ever, until you are dead.